Okay, imagine we have a system, basically a room, where I've arbitrarily divided it in half into kind of a left and right side. And in this room, I have a whole bunch of molecules that are all kind of moving around and zinging around. And I want to look at, at any given time, uh, what's the probability of finding a certain number of molecules on, the, say, the left-hand side, um, given that I know how many molecules uh, I'm talking about. Um, this is just the same as how many heads I will get in a certain number of flips, and it follows what's called the binomial distribution. And in that, in that sense, what we have is we have essentially the probability of one of the events, in this case, uh, so, so the probability of being on the left, raised to the power of the number of left, and then I have the probability of being on the right, uh, raised to the number of, of the, on, the, on, on, the, on the right. Um, and then we have a counting term, which is n factorial over L factorial, R factorial, which is the number of each, each one. Um, this simplifies some, somewhat when we recognize that, you know, R is just simply N minus L, and the probability of being on the R is just 1 minus uh, probability of being on the, on the left. So it, so it simplifies in that, in that case. And in this case, in particular, the example that I'm looking at, um, the, the, this probability of uh, being on left and, and being on, on the right is, is 0 0.5. It's just, just, I've divided the room into half. I could easily have done it into other, into other things. I could then ask the question, what I'm interested in in many ways is like, you know, given a snapshot, kind of what are the number of, this is kind of a uh, thing, given a snapshot at any given time, what's the probability that I find myself in one state versus another one? So for example, what's the probability that I'm going to find it kind of evenly, perfectly evenly distributed or 50 versus asymmetric, say by about, you know, say 10%. So 450, 550, you know, what's, what's, what's the probability there? The way I would set it up is just doing the probability of uh, seeing 500 on the left, given a thousand um, molecules and I would want to compare that to the probability of seeing 450 on the left given a thousand molecules and this whole thing um, this whole thing is equal to uh, we have the top part which is uh, would be a thousand factorial 500 factorial that's the number on the left and the number on the right and the probabilities are 0 0.5 raised to the 500, and we have a 0 0.5 raised to the 500. We're going to divide that by the same thing for 450. So we have 1,000 factorial over 450 on the left factorial, 550 on the right factorial, and we have 0 0.5, that's the probability of being on the left, and there's 450 there, and we have 0 0.5, that's the probability on the right, and we have 550 there couple things that help simplify everything. This whole section is the same number on the top and the bottom. Uh, we get 0.5 to the 1,000. Also, the um, top of these is also the same. So we really only have the denominators, and then we can, and, and then just to make it look a little nicer, we flip the, the 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 denominators down here to be on the top. So we end up with 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 450 factorial, 550 factorial over 500 factorial, 500 factorial. So the the ratio of the probabilities in these of these two cases is equal to this ratio, and and that's the. Uh, um, Okay, so, so now it's a matter of, of calculating out these rather large, uh, these rather large factorials. So this is what we're going to do at this point. So let me rewrite the, uh, um, the, the, the problem again up here. Probability that we're finding 500 molecules on the left in 1,000 versus 450 on the, on the left in so some uh, slightly kind of a uh, um, you know a, you know ten uh, so a small small pretend like a uh, like a one percent type of type of change we're looking at here um, or about two percent for kind of a small small change and we found that that was equal to four fifty factorial five fifty factorial sorry uh, over five hundred factorial five hundred factorial. Um, we can then 
uh, look at uh, dealing with these factorials, and what we do is we take the log of, of these numbers, we're going to use natural log so we can use Stirling's approximation. And if you recall, Stirling, Stirling's approximation says that the log of a factorial is approximately equal to n log n minus n. So when we take the log of this, and we take the log of 450 factorial, 550 factorial over 500 factorial, 500 factorial. The division becomes a subtraction. The multiplies become a uh, addition. And we get log of 450 factorial plus log of 550 factorial minus log of 500 factorial minus log of 500 factorial. Now we can apply Stirling's uh, approximation in, the, in, in, in these cases, say this is approximately equal to, and I'll just do each case indiv individually, we, we get 450 log of 450 minus 450 plus 550 log of 550 minus 550 minus and, and then I'm using the parentheses here, uh, uh, 500 log 500 minus 500 minus the quantity 500 log of 500 minus 500. Okay, so that's, and, and, and this will come up to a, um, a particular number. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we have then is each of these numbers let me just see where I wrote them down. And, okay. So this number here, you can just from the calculator, turns out to be uh, uh, 2607.30. And then we have the minus for, for, for that. We have minus 2607.30. This one is... Two nine two zero two nine two two zero you know point four five, and this one is two two nine nine point one six, and so we add that, and then we subtract the other ones, uh, and when we when we do that, we get an answer of about five, and this is the natural log if you if 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 you recall of the probabilities that we're interested in probability over of 500 compared to, to, to 450. So already the fact that it come, come, comes out this way, uh, greater than one uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, um, the, um, the, the probabilities, the probability being at 500 is greater than that for, um, for, for 450. If I want to know how much greater, uh, I can just, you know, take, uh, I can take e to that, that, that number if I, if I want to, or if I wanted to, uh, um, uh, do a factor of, of 10, the log of this ratio of the 500 to, 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 to 450 probability ratio, uh, would be 5 over 2.3. That's the changing the natural log to a base 10 log. Um, and so this ends up being about 2.2. So, um, so the ratio of these probabilities ends up being, you know, 10 to the 2.2 over about 160. So what it says is that that you're about 160 times more likely to find yourself with 500 molecules on the left hand side versus 450, um, and and so you're so the system would naturally, if it's kind of bouncing randomly around, spend much more of its time kind of evenly distributed. And this obviously would be much more uh, so if we're talking about larger than a thousand um, molecules.